Welcome to Jani Nature Curiosity. Have you guys ever wondered what leads to the transformation of a green, unripe, sour tasting mango into a heavenly tasting, soft and sweet ripe fruit? So this process involves several physiological and biochemical changes that we will look at one by one so the first thing that goes on is the starch conversion when the mango fruit is green and unripe it contains high levels of starch as the fruit matures enzymes present in the fruit start converting the starches into simple sugars like sucrose glucose and fructose this conversion leads to an increase in sweetness as the sugar content rises then we also see acid reduction green mangoes also have high levels of organic acid such as malic acid during ripening this acids gradually decrease leading to a reduction in the fruit's sourness this reduction in acidity contributes to the overall flavor balance and enhances the sweetness perception then we see changes in pigmentation the color transformation from green to yellow orange or red is a result of changes in the pigment production green mangoes contain chlorophyll which gives them the characteristic green color as the fruit ripens the chlorophyll breaks down and other pigments such as carotenoids start to accumulate carotenoids are responsible for the yellow orange or red hues that are observed in ripe mangoes we also notice the softening of the fruit as mangoes ripen there is a softening of the fruit's flesh this softening is primarily due to the breakdown of cell wall components such as pectin and cellulose by enzymes called cell wall hydrolysis the enzymatic activity leads to a loss of structural integrity of the fruit resulting in a softer texture the transformation from a sour and firm green mango to a sweet and soft ripe mango is driven by biochemical and enzymatic processes within the fruit the conversion of starches into sugars the reduction of organic acids pigment changes and the softening of the fruit all contribute to the desirable flavor texture and appearance of a ripe fruit that we enjoy so much this amazing transformation occurs naturally as part of the mango's maturation process it is influenced by factors such as temperature humidity specific biochemical pathways and enzymes present in the mango fruits the precise timing and intensity of these changes may vary depending on the mango variety and growing conditions now artificial ripening of the fruit is also seen uh, is an unethical but a practice that is often caught in the markets especially we see in india because india is the largest producer of mangoes and la- largest eater of mangoes consumers consumer of mango one of the com- uh, material that is used a chemical that is used to artificially ripen this fruit is called carbide actually it is calcium carbide this is a chemical compound that has been historically used for artificial ripening of fruits including mangoes however its use for this purpose is considered unsafe and illegal in many countries due to health risk associated with its by product acetylene uh, acetylene gas this acetylene gas is produced when calcium carbide com- comes into the contact with moisture such as that present in the inside the fruit the gas can contain traces of harmful substances like arsenic and phosphorus which can pose health hazard to humans in the past calcium carbide was used to release acetylene gas which triggers the ripening process by acting as a plant hormone called ethylene 
Acetylene is a natural plant hormone that regulates the fruit ripening. However, the acetylene gas produced by calcium carbide can also lead to adverse health effects when consumed as and taste of the fruit. Due to this health concerns, many countries including India have banned the use of calcium carbide for fruit ripening. Instead, the preferred and safer method for ripening mangoes is to allow them to ripen naturally on the tree or by using ethylene gas, which is safer and more controlled method. Ethylene gas can be used in a controlled environment to initiate the natural ripening process. It is considered safe for human consumption and doesn't carry the same hazards as with calcium carbide. Ethylene gas is used in cons uh, controlled concentration to mimic the natural ripening process, ensuring that the fruit develops its characteristic flavor, color, and aroma without compromising consumer health. In summary, while calcium carbide and acetylene gas were used for artificial ripening of the fruits like mangoes, they are now recognized as unsafe due to associated health risks. Ethylene gas is a safer and more controlled alternative used for initi initiating the natural ripening process in a controlled environment. But the safest and most healthiest option is to let mother nature work its magic.